So I'm now at the stand of IQ Robotics, a company that is actually launching at Materials Handling Middle East 2019, official launch. Uh, UAE company, I'm with Fadi Amudi, the Chief Executive Officer of IQ Robotics. And uh, Fadi, thank you very much for joining us, um, launching in the market, uh, IQ Robotics. Uh, tell us about your company. Thank you for having me, first of all. Uh, IQ Robotics is a technology company startup out of Dubai. Uh, we're a technology company with strategic partnerships with leading companies out of Asia in the verticals of robotics, AI, warehouse automation, supply chain management, software solution, package protection. Basically what we are offering is we are offering a turnkey solution to whoever wants and wishes to transform from a brick and mortar into the new digital era. We are here to share all the technology with everyone. We are here to support everyone. Uh, we're creating a center of excellence at the Dubai whereby we have product experts, project managers, uh, technical engineers, mechanical engineers, senior software solution providers in order to show everyone that all this technology is accessible, is easy and it is right here in Dubai right now. Uh, and we're going to have a look at some of your products in a, in a short while. Um, just uh, tell me, I mean, why did you decide to be involved in, in this industry in warehousing and intra logistics and supply chain solutions? Why this industry? All right. Uh, first of all, this is a really interesting industry. Uh, it's ever changing and it's evolving as we know. Uh, this came because we are part of also IQ Holding. So IQ Holding is in three verticals. Number one, technology. Number two, fulfillment. Number three, last mile. Hence, we have IQ Fulfillment that we launched last week also out of Dubai. We have IQ Robotics and we have IQ Express. So just to give you how we came into IQ Robotics was born also because of IQ Fulfillment, the sister company. Because IQ Fulfillment is the first robotic fulfillment center in our region. Hence, we have a lot of technologies implemented within this solution. And we said, as might as well, if we're going to open the first robotic fulfillment center in the region and run it across the entire region and also in Europe and in Asia, we'd have, rather have a, a technology arm behind it that powers it and basically also uh, expands and shares the technology with everyone. Should we have a look at some of your products here at Matera Tandy Middle East? Okay, Fadi, so uh, take us through what is this product you have here? So, this is an AGV robot. Uh, this is from a company called Quicktron. Quicktron is one of the leading companies in robotics and AGV robots. Uh, it's a company based out of Shanghai and it is also the same company that powers Alibaba's business. So Alibaba's Chanyu logistic arm uses Quicktron robotics. And Quicktron is our uh, exclusive uh, partner, uh, strategic partner for the entire MENA region. Uh, this is more or less a goods to person movement. So when you're talking robotics, you're talking 99.9% .9 efficiency rate, 99.9% uh, .9 picking accuracy rate. You're talking about three times the output of the human uh, uh, capacity. You're talking about also seamless integration when you talk about that. And of course, you're talking about 70% less labor. So you mentioned obviously this is what powers Alibaba. Other industries, what kind of industries would this benefit from here in the Middle East? So this would really benefit anyone f f whether it is a B to C where you're talking about e-commerce or whether it's a B to B so fashion apparel health and beauty uh, logistics 3PL courier everything is targeted within this because this is more or less controlling all your warehouse inventory with one system and of course you can scale up as, as large as you want I guess right of course you can start with five go to 10 20 40 100 you could scale as you go. Just to give you a small example, we deployed this technology right now in Dubai as a first implementation in our sister company. We have around 40 AGB robots on the ground floor and we do around 12,000 orders of robotic fulfillment a day and another 15,000 orders of sorting with only 40 people on the ground floor. If you talk about any other un unautomated, let's say, uh, facility, you would talk about more or less around uh, 400 to 500 employees within that warehouse. Okay. Should we have a look at something else? Yes. This is also our strategic partner, Damon Technologies. They are a leader uh, out of China in terms of conveyor belts and sorters, and they have everything when it comes to warehouse automation. So you're talking about state-of-the-art conveyor belts and sorters, and also a technology company that has a big center of excellence out of Shanghai. It automates most of the warehouses in uh, China and abroad, also in Southeast Asia. You're talking about Alibaba, eBay, they also did Amazon, they did a lot of other uh, clients over there and industries. And uh, another rather interesting 
sort of packaging solution, is that right? Yes, this is this is something called, pack this is our strategic partner, Locked Air. Locked Air is a package protection company. When you talk about package protection, the most important thing is basically protecting your package or your parcel that you want to deliver to your client, mm -hmm. whether you're an e-commerce or whether you are a regular B2B merchant, right? Mm -hmm. So this does, this is an air pillow delivery system. Okay, as you see, it is very easy to use and it, it is gone with a delivery system that transfers it, blows it by air. Mm -hmm. So you can, your packer can automatically get the pillow from over here directly and place it within the box. Mm -hmm. Some very interesting stuff. Thank you. Um, we're going to, um, where, what else would you like to highlight? We've got some more packaging equipment here. Okay, so this is basically a bubble air pillow, uh, sorry, air bubble machine system, mm -hmm. as you can see takes out the bubble, you can take it, you can lock it, mm -hmm. and you wrap your product in it. Whether you want to wrap the microphone or so it packs, protects the products, and it is very safe and uh, uh, very economically price structured also at the same time. Uh, All right, and then finally we got some more storage solutions around yes, here, we have packaging. Also packaging, also cages, uh, rollers, all these our team built. So yeah. our in-house team designed these trolleys and built them itself. Mm. They're all aluminum based, so they're very light, okay, and they're durable at the same time. Fadi, you mentioned before that uh, you, you thought that the, the warehousing and logistics market here in the Middle East was quite exciting, and that's yeah. why uh, you're launching IQ Robotics. Um, in terms of business growth, uh, what are your sort of projections in, in the region, in the least region? So hopefully we're expecting a lot of growth. Uh, as I said, we're just starting out, we're launching out of uh, material handling. Uh, we are already talking to a couple of clients uh, here and in Saudi and in different countries also. We're looking at a very positive outcome out of the show, hopefully. And uh, what's best is yet to come. We're opening offices here in Shanghai, in Saudi Arabia, in Egypt for IQ Robotics also. If you were talking about various verticals, whether it be e-commerce or pharmaceutical or retail, general retail, beauty, groceries, uh, where do you see the most sort of growth? The most growth, of course, is in e-commerce right now. So the growth is in e-commerce, the growth is in 3PL and courier logistics that supports e-commerce and the regular B2B. And of course, you have the uh, big uh, family houses and groups that would basically want to transform into the new digital era right now. Do you feel that automated warehousing solutions, is that going to take off in the Middle East region? I mean, let's compare it, for example, to more developed markets. Yes. Obviously, the initial cost is a little bit higher than in a region where you might typically have uh, slightly cheaper labor. Uh, that's a good question, by the way. So I think it will. I think there's no, other, there's no way looking back no more. Uh, in order to advance, in order to be one of the leaders, and in order to keep the existing business that you have, and your growth, your projected growth, you have to transform. Everyone's coming from abroad, right? You're, it's no longer the regular brick and mortar omni-channel. You have e-commerce, you have a million, anyone can go open an app and just do business, right? So you have to support yourself, basically. And I think that this is a very solid, economical, efficient solution that we have. Uh, and we hope that every, we can share this with everyone. First time at Material Sending Middle East. Um, who would you like to meet over the next three days? I would definitely love to meet uh, clients. We don't call them clients, we call them strategic partners because our journey with them is going to start from here and continue onwards. I uh, would like to meet also some SMEs if we can uh, and hopefully uh, some potential uh, business. Anyone that owns a warehouse, I guess? Well, of course, anyone that owns a warehouse, we can also deploy the technology outside the warehouse if they wish. So Even if you don't have a warehouse, come here and, get, and start up a warehouse. We're right here to support you, basically. If you, don't want to have an, if you don't have a warehouse, we're ready. We already have a warehouse in Fulfillment, mm -hmm. So we can also support you. If you're an SME, you wish to grow, we can support you in Fulfillment. We have the warehouse. We have the robotic automated warehouse. You don't have to invest. You come use our warehouse. Once you grow, IQ Robotics is also right there to stand by you and hold your hand in order to to transform your other warehouse. So essentially any retailer that has brick and mortar presence could potentially benefit as well? Of course, definitely. Any retailer can benefit. As I said, it's three times the output, it's 99.9% .9 accuracy rate, it's 70% less labor, and it is efficient. Fadi, good luck with the rest of the material attending Middle East. Thank you, thank you for coming, pleasure. 
and uh, I wish everyone good luck and uh, thank you for having us.